how are you? Let me introduce the FID reader. There are three power sources for the adapter. First, the USB. The second is the external battery. You can plug the battery box similar like this and uh, put the line to here. The third is the DB9 the, or pin 9. You can power from here and the slash switch you can select the power source. On the other side there is the slash switch. You can switch the DC or DTE. On the top you can see four pin headers. A means the analog input, D means the digital input and output, the G means the ground. There are two LED power and status. This is the hole for reset. You can put a pin and uh, push the button and uh, the adapter will reset. From here, you can plug the antenna via the SMA connector. Let's power on the adapter via the mini USB connector here. The LED will be on and uh, we connect the USB to serial cable. You can see the message from the terminal here. This is the reader information. Let's type and uh, press the enter button. You can see the master here. The master. And uh, we can type the question mark. You can see the command here. You can change the setting by type the command. For example, the RP means the report period from zero to one day. Now the default setting is the sec two seconds. Let's type RP zero. The system responds OK and uh, no message come in. Let's introduce the RFID tag. There are two batteries here. You can use one or use two units. This is the power switch. The label will show the IP address of the tag. On the other side, you can see the antenna and two tag switch. The first is the panic button. The second is the reset button. Here is the LED. From here, you can connect the external signal via the analog, digital, and the UART interface. And you can power, power on via this line, VCC, and the, the ground. And let's press the panic button and uh, let's power on and you can join the reader. First, you can see information from here. This is, comes from the tag. Let's turn off. How to set the slave? From the master, let's type the command JS2. Okay, and the reader is in the setting mode. Let's press 
the button, panic button, and uh, power on the switch. Okay, you can see the staff here. And uh, from the staff, you can you can type show command. All the command, all command, all the information is for the tag. You can see the LT is the link token, and here is the IP address. This is the same from the from the label, and you can you can change the report period now. The default setting is the three second, and you can you can change the period by type the command RP. For example, we change to one second, and it responds OK. How and the, when we set up the tag, we can type three plus and uh, exit the setting and from here this is the tag and this is the IP from the tag and this is the signal signal label and uh, the one is the panic button you can see the procedures from our website on the RFID section and uh, you you can set by air procedure here and uh, the command shows on the application notes thanks very much